welcome back to my channel. This is Dasha. It's been really long since I actually filmed any videos. Oh, to be honest, I wasn't really motivated to make any videos and I just needed a little bit of time off from everything. So we traveled to Kyrgyzstan, Samarkand and now I'm fully recovered. I feel great and I'm ready to start it all again. And so this is my first video after the quite a short break. Okay, so I just thought maybe I should update on my current skincare and makeup and all this stuff. So let's start with Estee Lauder Micro Essence. I'm honestly not a fan of like applying toner on a cotton pad. Oh. My cotton pad and wiping face. I know it feels great, but I'm a, a bit of lazy person. So I just got this mini spray bottle. Rub my face my neck as well okay but in the nighttime i use the ordinary lactic acid 10 percent plus ha this is the acid that i use to peel my dead skins but if you never tried any acid products maybe you should try with i believe they have five percent mine is ten percent so i just i'll drop it on a cotton pad even though i'm quite lazy and i use it only in the nighttime and i don't need to use any other like exfoliator or anything like that so it's really easy and simple and then i go for this la roche posay effa clardio so um brightening trouble essence i'll say probably you you guys remember how my skin was really bad but now it recovered pretty good of course i have few like red spots here because because yesterday i squeezed a little bit of whiteheads but overall my skin condition is really good these days I don't like to feel like I have too many products in my face. This is French drugstore product. Gentle, mild, and usually when I use like all this travel care product, it feels quite rough on my skin, but it just feels like everyday product. And then I'm going for eye cream. Dalpang, Dalfang, Dalfin. The Puffing Antioxidant Eye Cream. I personally like eye creams that have really dense and like rich texture but this product is really light it's gel textured but for summer time I think it's really good eye cream to use okay now moving on to the cream Sika Plus Balm B5 it's a little bit heavy texture for summer time but uh, because I'm not using any other like essence or any different products I think it's good enough for me and I try to use just only a small amount. I think it will be a really really great product to use in the autumn or in the springtime because your skin tends to get really dry and sensitive during those times. Kind of like help to get rid of all my skin trouble. Let me be honest with you guys. For the past three weeks while I was in Kyrgyzstan, I haven't been using sunscreen at all. My skin honestly did not develop any dark spots or freckles. It's a bit weird. So um, sunscreen that I like to use, Dr. G Green Mild of Sun. So I'm um, just gonna apply a tiny amount, especially because I squeezed yesterday a bit of whitehead. I have to apply sunscreen right now. Never forget your neck. I started gaining more wrinkles on my neck and this is quite stressful before I make up I also want to introduce you guys one more lotion the body product it's honestly not for body it's for face I haven't seen lotion in a freaking ages it's really like perfect for summer it also smells like citrus it's so refreshing and I decided to use it as a body lotion because I ran out of body lotion. It's kind of like a bit of aqua to use only on my body, so I started using it on the face as well. Moving on to the makeup. I stopped wearing foundation. Yay, finally! My skin recovered really well and now I don't feel anymore that I need to cover my skin with foundation. But obviously when I film makeup tutorial, I will still wear foundation. It's stretch concealer from Glossier. The shade is medium. I think I need one shade darker right now because it's kind of like slightly bright to wear it not under my eye area and because I don't like wearing foundation anymore I could just uh, wear concealer 
on the just only problems area. I want to cover a bit of like pores and blackheads on my nose tip. And I think I'm having a tiny little hive here. So let's just cover this. Now I'm moving on to the blush. This is Lip and Cheeks from Giorgio Armani. I'm just drawing these three little strokes using my fingertips and blending it upwards. This is such a beautiful color. Literally, I've been using this shade whole trip and it became my favorite freaking blush. Like, I don't need anything else. Sometimes I would just wear only this pencil on my cheeks and nothing else. Not even mascara, not even lips, just only this pencil on my cheeks and I would still look really nice and healthy. And then I'm moving on to this, finally. It's Soleil Teint de Chanel. We don't have this in Korea. Asian women generally, generally, prefer to have a non-tan, non-bronze, really fair and light skin tone. I think I ordered it from Nostradome. Okay, I'm just gonna use my fingertips because I can't be bothered to use any tool. It has really creamy texture. Uh, I don't think it feels really like light. It has a bit of kind of like silicone texture or something mousse. I really tried not to use too much of these products because it feels like it builds up. It's always trying to work on it a bit more extra. All right, now we need to set the makeup. My current favorite brush from Kumo. So it's a collab brush with Sinim. So I apply this powder, especially under my eyes, where I applied my concealer because this Glossier concealer definitely needs to set. Okay, and with whatever left on my brush, I'm just gonna swipe my face really lightly. The eye pencil from Moonshot, the first Moon Joey Airy, Joey Airy in shade 1606. Just two lines. I think I prefer this texture over the Nature Republic. Trying to use more Korean brand. My lower lash line as well. I'm just gonna use my fingertip and blend this thing. Let's contour slightly as well. Yeah, that's it. So easy, simple, quick. Now I got my eyelashes. Maybelline. Just a few touches. Okay, this mascara is not really doing much. Uh-uh, not happy. When your mascara is not doing its job, and your lashes keep falling down and you don't have any like color or anything else that you could, you know, curl your lashes, like match your slider and cotton bud. So just use your fingers and curl your lashes. And hold them for maybe a minute. Now I'm feeling like highlighter, so I'm going to grab this Glossier Play Night Shine Platinum Rose on top of my cheekbones. Just a little bit. Fingertips again. Just dab, 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 dab. Put whatever is left on fingertips on my eyebrow bone and also temple. Okay, now I want to add a little bit of natural glow, so I'm going to use this Balm Essential, Essential from Chanel in Transparent. This product has literally great freaking glow. It will make your skin look like a glass skin. What a beauty! And also, it kind of like gets a bit more wet at the time, so don't try to put too much of a product. Don't be greedy, okay? I'm finishing my makeup with lipstick. It's from Chanel Rouge Allure Liquid Powder in Vintage Pink. The shade is just absolutely gorgeous. It's like, like the perfect shade that I like. Let's put out a little bit of more product. Makes my teeth look white. For my everyday look these days, I'm just not doing anything. 
to my eyebrows because they're bushy enough and I just don't feel like I need to do anything else. I kind of like, like this messy feeling. Okay, that's it for my update. Uh, thank you for watching my video and I'll see you again very soon. I will come back with my uh, Kyrgyzstan and Uzbekistan vlog and I will also come back with another styling look. It's literally waiting for me here right now. Okay, bye. Thank you.